Today we started in the Dune Forest, on the edge of the Indian Ocean in KwaZulu-Natal, just where the lagoon leads us into the Hawan Coastal Forest. The air resonates with the sound of a juvenile crowned eagle. Uh, the glimpses that I get of this bird tell me that it is a young female, probably about uh, 14 months old and just about ready to leave the territory. This is a species of spider-hunting wasp. And there, it looks to me like a female, and a very pregnant female, rain spider, already paralyzed or anesthetized by the wasp's sting. But see how it still sits in that traditional defensive pose with its front legs raised while the wasp walks over and across the spider with absolute impunity. And there grabs it by the front of its mouth on its fangs and proceeds to drag it into the prepared hole where when this is done, the wasp will lay her eggs onto the spider so that in a week or two's time, perhaps three, I'm not entirely sure, when the young wasps hatch, they will have what may be termed live food to feed upon. The spider stays in this state of suspended animation simply by the strength and the unique chemical composition of the wasp's venom. Remarkable how nature configures these interdependencies. The wasp finds that the spider doesn't quite fit into the first hole and now tries to extract the spider but the spider being still partially alive as it were is somehow wedged into the hole and the wasp enters into a huge struggle to somehow lever it out but just then another wasp ambushes the first wasp and down they go onto the forest floor and a titanic battle ensues. This is insect kung fu at its absolute best. Just this fast, furious, fierce combat. And when she returns to the nest after almost an hour of this intense fighting. See how she seems to be almost trying to clean the scent of the other wasp off of her legs and her body. Or she's simply straightening out those hairs and hooks and body parts which have no doubt become dislodged from this incredible impact, grappling in this way. It's just amazing for me to see how fiercely and with such vigor a creature this size will defend its right to procreate. And when one sees an expression of energy of this nature with such intense, one can only stand in awe of the way in which the natural world expresses its purpose.
Such is life on the forest floor in Hawaiian.